Hey y'all, my name is James, this is my channel Big Ol' Words, and tonight we're going to be playing Deadpool for the NES. Um, I've got the the box here, this, there's a manual in here as well, maybe we'll reference it at some point. And I've already got the game in the NES, but let me give a quick shout out to everyone who's here already. Uh, Traditional Art Studio, that's quite a name. Matt Sweeney, who uh, sent me this copy of Deadpool, and to whom I am greatly indebted and excited to try this. Thank you, Matt. Jeff Linquist, Scott Bogfoot, Nahas Saddam, uh, Chada Cascadia, uh, Drew Amongst Us, okay. Elucidus, who is moderating, thank you. Uh, let's see, Circus Diabolique, Dora Laxon, Bronco Breaks, a little, 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 little scrolling, I am scrolling. Uh, let's see, Rusty G, Dale Santafer, Raphael De La Ghetto, A Toad Who, cho who Codes. I was hoping it was a toad who chodes, but I like a toad who codes. Um, Cranable. Hey, Will Moffat. Hey, what's going on? Um, Marzimus, Mr. Dozer, Holden. And what else you got? John Vidiola, Joshua Biddlespot, Double O Clint, Fire and Fungi, Retro Cheats. Thank you all for being here. It's super awesome. Um, yeah, let's see what the hell this is about. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. I, this is a hack of Ninja Gaiden, um, but with Deadpool, and I've heard good things about it. Uh, the fucking box and everything is super cool. It has, like, all kinds of neat stuff in it. Let's check out this story here. Definitely Ninja Gaiden. Or Gaiden. I'm gonna say Gaiden a bunch of times. Man. So, if you never played a hack, these are all made by usually one person. So it's pretty impressive whenever I see this where, you know, yeah, they're using the original information from Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden. I'm going to say Gaiden. I don't care. And um, and then changing it to look more like Deadpool. But, like, that's still a lot of fucking work to, like, then rewrite the script and change the music and, um, and the level designs. Like, it's a lot of work. Uh, let's try easy mode. And if it's super easy, then we'll try to get in Merc mode. Um, yeah, look, there's a little tutorial, so it tells you how to do everything. Look at this. You, uh, there's no tutorial levels in NES games, so it's pretty cool. Jump onto the wall, latch on, huh? And then you can... This is what you can do in Ninja Gaiden 3? I don't... Maybe it's in 2, where you can climb up. You can't do that in the original. So this is, uh... All the, you have a bunch of different special moves, so let's see what this one does. Shoots bullets. Okay. Cool. That's pretty neat. Let's see. This is the teleport. That's so tight. Watch this. That's pretty dope. That's um, that's pretty clever. I really like that. Let's see the rocket. Okay, it's like a heat-seeking missile. That's neat. Um. I assume this is like the okay the slash move from uh, from Ninja Gaiden. If you get bomb, okay. Okay. So okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm well aware that um, it's pronounced Ninja Gaiden or whatever. Um, but as I've said many times, I grew up in an age where um, <clears throat> where we all called it Ninja Gaiden, like Raiden. And uh, and even though I know how to pronounce it correctly, 
it's a uh, it's like in my subconscious now it's very deep so it's very likely that I will be do the shit out of my my comment box <laughs> I don't care okay I think I got it let's 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 move past this this is pretty cool this like little intro Okay, so do I have a bomb? No. So let's say you can't hurt those guys without the bomb. Got it. Colezilla is here. Restart the stream. Well, you haven't really missed anything yet. Sorry. I'm not really clear what that is. The hearts that are counting down. Do you see that? I don't really know what that means. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I'm very confused by the counting down hearts. Matt, do you know what that is? Uh, I'm obviously very stoked to get um, any kind of... Oh, okay. Can't hurt this guy. Anything in the mail from anyone. That's awesome. But I'm especially excited to, to have a new game. It's always just... I mean, as someone who's been playing the NES my entire life, it's, it's just crazy that there's still stuff like this out here and yeah it is a hack of another game it's clearly Ninja Gaiden but um, yeah I mean it, it's an entirely new level this isn't how the first it's similar to the first level but it's not the first level okay it's definitely much longer for starters the, the first level of Ninja Gaiden would have ended by now if there's any real reason to get any of this stuff. Uh, I don't care. Alright. Let's try some of these sub weapons. Now we got a boss fight. Okay, that's all my sub weapons. I don't need it. That guy's super easy. Do I keep an eye on limited run? Um, I saw they made a Rugrats game recently. I was never a big, <clears throat> never a big Rugrats fan, but it's still cool. I have what's it called? The Garbage Pail Get Kids game. It's pretty neat. So it's like exactly what happens in Ninja Gaiden, but. Just with different dialogue. Have I played Castlevania Revamped? Um, no. The only Castlevania I've played is called um, Holy Relics, which um, another cool guy subscriber sent me not that long ago. Um, now I'm trying to remember who. They sent me that and uh, the Ghosts and Goblins. Where you can uh, choose your own weapon or choose whatever weapon you want. And like, I'm such a stickler, you know, I love having the cartridges. Like, obviously, I could be playing more of these hacks without actually having the physical cartridge, but I just really like the idea of like looking at this thing on my shelf and like pulling out the manual. And it even has a little pin, a little Deadpool pin. Isn't that cute? Like, look, look at this manual. This thing is like 30 pages deep. Someone really put a lot of time and care into the game, obviously, but into the packaging as well, which is pretty neat. Uh, what the hell am I jumping onto? Oh. Okay, um, here's my first critique. I would have had no idea what I was supposed to be jumping on there. I just kind of jumped. Now I kind of see it. 
but like maybe this these Deadpool guys shouldn't have been the same color because that's a little confusing. And I assume that that yellow thing next to it was a platform because it looks like a platform. All right. What is this um, glowing body next to me? <laughs> I'm very confused. Uh, whoa, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I love the teleport. Damn, saw that coming. Okay. So I think here I gotta just jump twice. There we go. Jesus Christ. Everything wants to knock me in. Yes, I agree. This soundtrack is pretty good. That's so fun. Okay. All right. Well, it's definitely playing true to Ninja Gaiden where there's just random things that knock you into holes. The American dream. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have guessed that was a wall. See, it's, it's definitely a little confusing what's what. Whoa, what the fuck? This is like a uh, total recall. That part where he goes to the airport and you, you can see his skeleton with the gun on him. That's pretty cool. Nice effect. Oh boy. Let's get out of here. Um, it looks like there's two paths. Am I? Oh, okay. There are, but you just go left first. Wait a second. Okay, so the um, the hearts that are ticking down are your health regenerating, which is, uh, that's pretty clever. Because if you look, when it counts down to zero here, then I get a little bit of life back. That's really smart. So um, just like Wolverine, Deadpool has a healing factor because he's Weapon X, or maybe he already had it, I don't know. But, uh, but that's pretty neat. That's what you can do in, like, uh, the Genesis X-Men game is, you, you know, when you're, like, low on life with Wolverine, you just wait. Eventually, it'll come back. Yabish. Uh, I'm not clear what I can jump on here. Huh! Okay. Yeah, it's pretty clever. A little muddled. Even though the colors are, are very distinct and stuff, it's just a... Jesus Christ. Alright, I get it. Um, the colors are really distinct, like having green against purple like this. Gee Whoa, that was weird. Like, got stuck to my leg. Um, but just... Like, look at the screen right now. Got him. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Look at this guy. How do you program that? Oh, let's use that one. Yeah, boy. Can I land on that? Okay, that's good. Fuck me, that's pretty good, instead of game over.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Why did I assume that was something I could jump on? I'm very confused by, which is like the size of Deadpool, but um, is it a platform? I guess it's in the background. Yeah, I guess those two planes below me are just in the fly. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. That's very confusing. What about this? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Huh. Huh. Now what? Oh, okay. Whew. So you're getting lag? Let's see. I can slow it down here. Let's find out. Now let me make sure my wife is not streaming. We realized that actually was the issue not that long ago where um, where the, my stream was really slow and it was because uh, she was watching uh, I think Netflix and it turned out that our internet could not handle that much. All right, so I lowered the, uh, the bit rate for a little bit. Let's see if that works and we'll see what she says she gets back to me. All right, what the hell am I? just stopped okay yeah so that was probably probably on her sorry guys speaking of night trap joe lieberman croat yes he did fuck that dude Ooh, that was close I would stream Night Trap, because that would be pretty funny. I have a Sega CD, and I have Night Trap, but um, I cannot figure that game out. Like, even knowing when I'm supposed to do something, I, I can't seem to make it do anything. I think I just don't understand the timing, but that would be pretty fun. Oh, I see. I've got a machine gun equipped. Wow, that sucks. Uh, bizarre uh, rock piece. Hello. If you guys are just joining, I'm playing Deadpool, which is a hack. Well, I didn't notice the little Space Invaders guy. It's a hack of Ninja Gaiden. Um, that's pretty cool. There's a couple of things, but... Some of it's also like Ninja Gaiden things, like just getting knocked into holes by everything. Oh, I see. It's, uh, I can do this. Sick. Okay. When he starts glowing like that, is it's telling you you can, uh, oh god. Fuck. Uh, uh, maybe I'm out of ammo and that's why nothing's happening. I keep trying to do super moves and I, th I can't really tell where the ammunition is on here. It must be the thing below the hearts. Like, I should have 10 ammo right now. Let's find out. Alright.
Okay. Shit. All right, here we go. Uh, pause. Is the uh, is the lag better? Because if so, then I'm gonna uh, up the up the stream quality again. No lag. Okay. And then we'll see. If it's really bad, then um, then I'll drop it back down again. Yeah, it's funny. We pay extra for like more expensive internet, and I am like in a separate building from the rest of the house, so uh, it makes sense that it would be slightly. Slower out here, but it's hardwired. I'm not on wireless or something here. It's not like I'm thousands of feet away from from our house or something. Okay. These enemies are pretty easy so far. Uh, awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> What's up to all my fellow 18 year olds? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is really exciting. I've been playing James Bond Jr. for like a week. The game is fucking awful. And um, I'm very excited to be playing something that's way better. <laughs> I've changed my ways since changing you. Say this chat is the sausage fest. Well, that's what happens when a bunch of 18 year old males get together. Nicholas McConnell, are we related? Uh, ATL, that's what's up. I wasn't paying attention. I'm assuming they're talking about the Infinity Gauntlet here. Yes, James Bond Jr. is torture. It is torture. It is really, really bad. That is a, a game for the for the AVGN. It's definitely that kind of experience. not really paying attention to this story, but I'm sure something really cool is happening. Uh, Bambino Cochino. Hello. Well, who the fuck is that guy? Carnage. Carnage stole the Infinity Gauntlet? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Is that death? Holy shit. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Between the stream, the Ben and Jerry's and Xanax. I, I thought you were saying there was... Another stream called Ben and Jerry's and, and Xanax. Boy, that sounds fun. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Alright, where's that rocket? Can I shoot this dude? Yeah, bitch. You too. I don't know why I thought I was not going to jump straight through. That makes sense. I mean, it, it actually, it does make sense that that would be possible. I, it just, in that moment, didn't seem like something that would happen. Huh. Is 
So I can plant a bomb. Sure. I'm sure there's a more strategic use for that, but, uh, meh. What's that sound? Time freeze? Cool. Yeah, I like the, um, I like the idea of, of the health regeneration because the difficulty of Ninja Gaiden is never about, um, getting stabbed to death or something. It's always about getting knocked back into your death. Same with Castlevania, although I feel like in Castlevania you're more likely to get hit by an enemy than you are, you're as likely to get hit by an enemy to death as you are to get knocked to your death. Maybe not, but uh, Ninja Gaiden, it's like just the whole game is designed that way. Gotta say, this rocket is uh, pretty cheap. Look at this. No skill at all. Oh, you can't kill those guys unless I have the the bomb, which I don't. Okay. I'm not sure why that is how it is, like what the real purpose of that is, but it's kind of neat that they programmed in like just some invincible abilities, invincible bad guys that you can only kill with a certain weapon. Okay, my sword's better. Oddly enough, this doesn't, like, I know it's Ninja Gaiden, but the, the like, design of the stage doesn't look anything like it to me. I mean, sort of, like, the way the pits and stuff are designed, but, like, the actual look of the textures looks more like a um, swamp thing or something to me. Like it has that swamp thingish appearance in my uh, perspective. All right, now we're ready to bomb. I want someone cool to bomb here. How about this guy? Can I bomb this item? No. Although, it, huh. It stopped blinking. I don't know what that means. What the fuck was that? Uh, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. Seemed like I jumped as far as I could. That I definitely did not jump as far as I could. Oops! That would be cool if that bomb right there blew that dude up. Sadly, it did not. Monkey hit detection. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I must have hit that guy in the head five times. He still didn't die. Oh, okay. The one I'm using right now is just straight up bullets. Okay. 
This is where I died last time. <laughs> Alex Heidel donated five dollars. That's it? No message or anything? I see there's a little guy that says, How's it going? Um Well, first of all, Alex Heidel, thank you. You rock. How's it going? How's it going with you? Um Everything is going pretty well, I would say. I'm playing some random game I've never played before, which is very cool. Um, and yeah, my week is going pretty well. Right now I'm spending a ton of time with my youngest. Um, I'm taking care of her primarily about three or four days a week. So it's uh, amidst like I'm trying to find a new renovation project and um, and working on videos and uh, I've been doing our taxes. I've been doing a bunch of shit. Projects around the house and stuff. Uh, but my wife took care of the uh, the baby for the first few months while I was working. And now uh, she's back to work. And I've been taking care of the baby for a few months. It's been cool. Challenging. This baby is a challenge. But uh, she rules. She's awesome. Uh, how about yourself? How is your week going, sir? And to everyone else out there, how is your week going? So, I have thoughts about this last thing at the end here. Which is, I think, you're supposed to somehow use that bat. Huh. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, it seems like I can't make this jump, but as soon as I jump, like, a bat shows up. <gasps> oh my god, come on. That's so stupid. You really didn't have to make it that far of a jump. Oh shit, is that the Hulk? Look at how easy this is. Come on. That's it? I beat the fucking Hulk that easily? The Hulk. Who's that? Somewhere in this it said, what does it say? I was like, damn dude, you really went for it. It says, there are a shitload of awesome weapons to play with. Together we can stab things, shoot things, blow shit up, It'll be fucking insane, and you'll love every cum-guzzling second. Did I say cum-guzzling? I meant to say action-packed. Okay. <laughs> Are there other pools in this house? Dead pools? Um, okay. I feel like it just disconnected briefly. Damn, I know there's a lot of story in the first game. I'm not used to uh, games with stories these days. Especially when I'm streaming, I'm like not reading this shit at all. I'm trying to like catch up on y'all's comments and just not pay attention to whatever is happening. Yeah. Go fuck yourself with a barbed wire dildo. Uh huh. I don't really know what to say about it. <laughs> Feels like it's trying a little too hard.
Um, Alex, you're saying that um, you get to a point where you make too much money for taxes. Yeah, I get that. Um, yeah. Uh, that's not my problem right now, but uh, at one point it was. I actually had the opposite problem where I got paid for for spending too much money last year. Not making too much money. Oh boy, okay, I'm sorry, this is just going on too long. If you guys are really invested in that story, I apologize, but that's all I can take. Oh, well shit. I thought I was just straight up dead. I like this, where you can just... I'll take the hard way. It's actually not that hard. So when you get the, uh, what I'm using right now is the machine gun. You can't opt out of it. I think you could, like, you could switch out of it. But you just have to use it until it, uh, runs out of ammo. Gonna say it again. Swamp thing. That's what this reminds me of. Wait, what's over there? Okay, guess nothing. That is really what this looks like to me, is Swamp Thing. <laughs> of all of all the random games, Swamp Thing, one of the worst NES games is what this reminds me of. Not in gameplay at all, just just in the look of it. And some of those enemies. I was trying to figure out a way to make a video about, um, which is kind of related to hacks. Um, what's going on here? Oh, shit. Is this like a boss? Okay. Didn't even realize there was a boss there. Um, games that use the same engine. So, uh, Swamp Thing uses the same game engine as, uh, Bart versus the Space Mutants. And all the, actually all the, all the Simpsons games use the same engine. Um, but, uh, so what, it, okay, that was really confusing. Look at where I am. Right to my left, I fell down into a pit. Just now I fell down again and hit those spikes. So where did I die? That's confusing. Anyway... And yeah, there's a bunch of instances like that. Like, I didn't realize... I'm so confused how I'm dying there. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. That's what I've been saying. It looks like I'm... <laughs> what is that? Why is there a hole there? Like, literally, look, look. I can jump right here. And I fall on spikes. But if I jump right here... There's a hole. It's so stupid. Um, anyway... The fuck is I talking about? Okay, so like Barbie and um, a boy and his blob use the same game engine, which makes sense. I even I think compared it to a boy and his blob. Fuck! Why is that so hard? It's not. It's just like this is. I'm not shitting on it. It's it's still better, a thousand times better than anything I could do. But this is kind of a a clear instance of maybe missing a little bit with the game design here, which is that. It's not clearly defined where the edges of of uh, the floor are. So, yeah, that's super frustrating. So I keep falling through it when I don't think I should be. Just because of how it's uh, drawn. Anyway. So, yeah, there's tons of, um, of games that share the same game engine. Um, I, I don't know what happened there. Cartooning with Chris donated one dollar. Y'all, you can put messages, I think, uh, if you want to say anything in particular. But I'm just gonna take that as uh, thank you. That's awesome. But uh, if you had anything to say, say it now, my friend. I am listening. Cartooning with Chris. And thank you. Um, 
Yeah, like Mega Man and DuckTales is, is probably the biggest example of, of sharing the same game engine. Uh, but there's tons of them. But I just didn't really... There's like so many examples. Uh, I guess you just can't touch those spikes on the top. That's annoying. <sighs> um, there's so many examples. That, and I didn't really... I'm not really uh, adept enough at um, like programming. I don't know anything about programming. So when people talk about... Uh, or hardware. When people talk about... Or I talk about games and then people chime in to tell me all the things I didn't say about... I don't know. The chips in the in the uh, cartridge or like the capabilities of the Nintendo processor or something. I don't know that stuff. I really don't. And it's just, it doesn't interest me, unfortunately. I didn't even realize I was fighting the ninja guy himself. That's him right there. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I struggled, I think, with the idea of making a whole video about that topic. Jesus Christ. Um, wow. I'm going to shut up for one second because I really should not be struggling with this this much. This is fucking stupid. Let's blow everybody up. Like, nothing about this seems hard. I just keep getting knocked into mystery. And while I'm annoyed about the floor, those things on the ceiling that kill you instantly, that's stupid. Like, if these spikes on the floor don't kill you instantly, why do, why do the spikes on the ceiling kill you instantly? That's so stupid. So stupid. Cartoon of It wouldn't let me because of the don donation amount. Okay. Well, say your piece now, my friend. Thank you. If you got, like really um, cool ideas about what happened during the eclipse what kind of uh, Christian specific rapture I missed I want to hear all about it god this is so frustrating for the worst reason which is like I really at any moment can't tell what I'm jumping on or not that's it I'm just kind of moving And boy, they the difficulty really amped up here. Mostly the AI, the enemies really amped up. They all move in a very obnoxious way. That's on me. Yeah, I saw that one of the most Googled phrases was like, um, something about eye damage, like specifically in the places where uh, you could you had the best view of the eclipse. I actually missed it entirely. I, I didn't really mean to. I was going to the doctor right when, right when it was happening, but uh, I didn't even go outside or anything. I don't know why. I just for some reason it like did not resonate with me that it was important. And that seems so strange because it's not like I've seen so many eclipses in my life that I should be over it. But um, for some reason I just was not motivated whatsoever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure if you lived in other places, Indiana or something, that's where my parents went. They were up in Indiana visiting some relatives to go watch it. Jesus Christ. Huh. Tune in because you're curious about the Deadpool hack. Saw so James and Mike play this. Oh, okay. Didn't I know that? When I first started streaming, I thought I would be, I would do like um, edited versions of it, like uh, like how they they were doing that, where they weren't they weren't streaming, they were just playing it, and then they would cut it down for people to watch later. Turned out no one wanted to watch it, at least at the time. Uh, watch the highlights of a stream. Uh, to me it was kind of funny but uh yeah maybe I'll revisit that at some point but I don't know for me this is like one it's really fun because I don't really get to play games without like a purpose I always play games these days just to record footage for for videos I'm making and then it's mostly like you know I'm 
I'm not usually playing a very fun game like James Bond Jr. Or, um, or you know, I'm just mostly taking notes or something. Or sometimes I'll, I'll play like better games, but it's usually for a very specific purpose. Like I just need a few minutes of footage for something. So I, I don't usually get to just sit down and play. So that's what's so exciting to me about it. And then, god damn. And then it's been really fun because it turns out that other people want to watch and hang out. And so I've, I've kind of uh, found this whole community of, of rad people who I think like the channel and uh, like me enough to watch at least some of me playing a video game. Uh, and I think mostly to chat with each other, which is awesome. You guys rule. Thank you for being here. This is starting to remind me more of Swamp Thing <laughs> and that I'm starting to hate it. Let's try to think of what the worst... How do I keep dying right there? Every... I mean, I've probably died there ten times now. That didn't make any sense. Fuck this game. Say so games like this, you need to have safe states? Nah. That defeats the, uh... <laughs> you think I would have learned? It defeats the purpose. God damn it. A rewind function. Yeah, exactly. Let's try this again. Let's just slow it down. Slow it down. Nope, that's not slowing it down. that time. Yeah, I think I'm just moving a little too fast. Or too slow in that case. Huh. Yes. When I'm making videos, I, I, I definitely use save states these days. It's, it's way too hard, and I don't have enough time to, like, straight up beat games legit from start to finish it, it, that would just take forever and I would have so much footage to come through so yeah I've I've begun I usually try and play something like straight up and then go back and try and play it all the way through with save states and even with save states I can tell how difficult it is um, although it does lose some of the frustration that that comes with not being able to restart exactly where you left off um, but for streaming it's like, I mean, you don't want to watch me play Castlevania and then breeze through it because I'm saving my progress every few seconds. Like, that's pretty lame. I think I mentioned it last time, but I, I checked in recently. Someone I follow was streaming, and they were playing DuckTales 2, which is not a hard game. And they were using save states pretty often. And it it's not that it bothered me. I just felt like it was, um, was kind of weak. Like, you know... I'm not saying I'm some great NES player. If you've watched me stream before, you'll know that's not the case. But with Chris donated five dollars. Yeah, I like watching your videos whenever they come out. You, SNES drunk, and Console Wars are the main retro game channels I watch. Okay. Um, I've never seen Console Wars. I should check that out then. SNES drunk is definitely uh, one of my favorites. One of the only channels I actually watch. Um, along with Hungry Garaya, that's I, I've watched very few. Um, but um, I love Sinestrunk. I definitely have patterned some of what I'm doing on this channel or 
to be like his, just because of I like the simple approach that he he took to um to reviewing games. It, it inspired me because I I was so used to people making like skits and nowadays like the kids that make videos like they they do so much editing. It's like cutting away to something every fucking three seconds. Uh, it's just like a TikTok attention span kind of thing, and like, so it's nice to watch someone who's probably my age making more subdued videos. Anyway, all that being said, thank you again, Cartooning with Chris. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm glad you liked the video. Zuh. Uh, it's funny you say whenever they come out, I was very consistent for the first, like, year and a half, every single Tuesday, but it was kind of, it was COVID time, and I, I just had... I had more. I had more time. Is basically all it was. Um, and then, just more and more, especially uh, as we were approaching having our, our second kid, and then now that we have the kid, I'm starting to get back to it. I, I just cannot. I can't consistently make videos. I just don't have the time like I did then. I could stay up all night when my first kid was born and just make videos because I, I didn't have anything pressing. But now that um, I have this other one to take care of, it's like, it's so much harder. She just, she wakes up at crazy hours and I still have to get up with the other kid. It's like, it's just not enough. Jesus. Uh, just not enough time. So I've kind of resigned myself now to more of like an every other week schedule for the time being. That's about the best I can, um, I can do. And even then I, I have felt like I'm rushing it still. Like some of the videos I've made recently... I still like, they're just like, um, like the one I made about, uh, just talking about retro gaming, which is kind of a complicated episode. That one took me longer than pretty much any video I've worked on. And in the end, I was like still rushing it to finish it just because I wanted it to come out. And I, I don't feel like in the end, it, it was exactly how it, like that everything I wanted to do for the video was done. Like the thumbnail and like some of the editing and maybe some of the ideas I didn't quite get to get across. Isn't Hungry Garaya a girl? Yes. Yes, she is. I generally try and watch, you know, there's plenty of people I watch at least once and I'll give them a shot, but there's only a few that I think I like consistently watch where every video of theirs, or, you know, most every video of theirs I'm going to watch. It just, um... Specifically in retro gaming and the kind of reviews that I'm doing, like, similar stuff to that. Whoa! What other weapon we got? Okay, we got the teleport? Nope. Oh, I don't have any... Uh-oh. Damn, he fucking kicked me in the face. Fuck me. That's awesome. Console Worlds has, Words has skits, but it's pretty funny. I want to agree with you, but I have a feeling I, I, I won't. I don't, I don't, like, I love James Rolfe and everything he's done, but my least favorite thing about that uh, channel are the skits. I just like the parts where he's playing the game. His, like, reaction and interpretation of it more than, like, him fighting Bugs Bunny for a while, so... I, I might be in the minority there. Jeez. Is your channel big enough to have channel memberships? I don't really understand memberships. Is that pretty much what I'm doing on Patreon? Um, if so, then maybe. Um, I really like the idea of Patreon and I really love the people who support it because they've really, like it really has helped. There was a time where I really really need the money and I realized that I had money in Patreon that I had never touched. So it, it is I think a big part of growing uh, as like a creator to be able to have like a, a set income. But um, I don't love that it's separate from YouTube. I like streaming on YouTube rather than doing it on Twitch or something. Um, I like having everything in one place. So 
I have thought about memberships. It just seemed redundant because I already had a Patreon, but I also have never tried it. So if you guys think it's worth it and worth doing instead of that, I would consider it for sure. Basically like Patreon, okay. Yeah, I don't know where I was, which video I was watching, or I, I somehow got to the comments of one of my own videos. And um, it was a video that was pretty popular, and someone commented there like, I mean, I like this channel, but I wish the guy was a better writer and had more skits. And I, Which to me is pretty funny, because uh, one, I consider myself to be a pretty decent writer, not to like completely toot my own horn, but like... I do have an English degree. I can write. So, like, I don't think that's necessarily my weakest point. But the skits, yeah, no, that's not what I'm doing. So if you don't find the jokes I'm making in the actual uh, narration of the video, then, yeah, sorry. You're, you're probably not going to like the channel. <laughs> that's the only time I'm really using humor consistently. Uh, What? Oh, okay. Guess I can't go this way. Uh, prefer an OnlyFans? Yeah. Pay into the Patreon, but rarely log in. That's the other thing I've noticed is, um, I mean, there's probably like 30 or something people who use the Patreon or subscribe to or whatever, but not that many people watch the videos uh, or comment on them or anything. And that's fine. Uh, like, I'm not, I'm not hurt or anything, but it's like, um, you yeah, know, I make a video every week. So then it's like, um, is this pointless? Am I just doing this wrong? Like, should I be approaching it a different way? Because I don't think the videos themselves are necessarily unappealing. They're not as, like, intense as the ones I make for the channel. Holy shit. Okay, this guy's actually kind of hard. I say with confidence. <laughs> if I did skits with leaving. Like, occasionally I'll include something that I... I don't know if you guys have seen videos like this, but, like, somehow I got stuck in, like, a Dragon Ball loop, and I kept watching this person's videos. And it's, like, a younger person, and it's, like, every three seconds they are cutting away to, like, gifts, you know, of, like, someone, like, shaking their head, or, like, someone, like, smiling, or, you know, it's, like... Oh, he did this, and then, then someone's like, oh, you know, it's like such constant editing all the fucking time. And it's like, there's a style I get, and some of my favorite creators do use that cutaway style to a much smaller degree, but do use it. And I think in this next video, I am going to do a couple cutaways just because for some reason they came to mind. I just don't really like that style. I find it really um, uh, irritating and like... Uh, it's too much. Like, occasionally is fine, but, like, constantly doing it is so bad. So obnoxious. It really feels like you're just watching TikToks for ten straight minutes. Backlog on the Patreon. Wouldn't mind a longer video every two weeks instead of every week. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I say that I do one every week, so I do one every week. Uh, unless I really get overwhelmed, but I it, it really does feel like people aren't really watching them So maybe I'll start doing something else every other week um, Like try and think of something that's a different format or picture based or something. I don't know Because I really appreciate the patreon like it, it means the world to me that anyone has joined it like it really does And I love making the signs for the people who want that like that's I love doing that so um I, I want to keep something like that. It's just, I don't know, I've, I've had trouble. And maybe I'll look more into the memberships and at some point maybe I'll transition to that. But, I don't know. I also fear the day when one day YouTube just decides they're done with me and I put all my eggs into one basket. <laughs> this is, um... Okay, so this is kind of interesting. These, like, foreground... Is it in the foreground? No, it's actually in the background these uh these floating shadow things it looks like they're in the foreground but they're actually in the background it's kind of interesting limbo oh, okay the 
again. Watch my Swamp Thing review if you don't want to play Swamp Thing, because why would you? But, like, there's a level where it looks... The colors especially look exactly like this. Uh, where you're, like, in an underground, like, a uh, crypt kind of place. Oh, whoops. That makes sense. I didn't realize those flames were uh, for items. I should have realized that, though. Maybe that's a whole video I can make is um, the best times when <laughs> when the enemies just kill themselves. <laughs> it is one of my favorite things, especially about retro games, because it doesn't happen. To, I mean, I guess it still happens in modern games where they just kind of glitch out and do something weird. But I can think of like at least 10 games right now that um, where the enemies just run right it right off into their death. So given that there's no time limit, I might as well just wait here for a second. Then we all go to Patreon? Yeah, then that's all I do there. Can I do an album cover for you? I mean, I could. I don't know if you really want me to do an album cover for you. I should really get my wife. She can actually draw. I'm just like graffiti style, you know. Um... I'm not, uh, not really much of an artist. But the graffiti stuff I can do okay. Where's the ones I just finished? Uh, where did I just put this? Hold on. I don't know. Well, I just finished two. I've got like maybe I've got two that I finished and I've got two more I've got to finish within the next week. Oh, this looks cool. And this is going to be impossible. Just what we were all clamoring for an ice level. Let's get slippery. This sounds like Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Godin. Gooden? Yeah, this is Ninja Gaiden. I thought this had original music. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, let's see. I think the RPGs you make potentially five for now. I mean, I would. You can you can definitely hit me up and. All of you can. It's words at gmail.com if you have interesting requests like that. Um, I, I mean, I don't have enough confidence in myself, depending on what you wanted, but uh, but maybe. I like to draw. I used to paint um, and, you know, whoa, that was awesome. And at certain points, I, I do various projects related to art. Usually for, like, Christmas gifts or, like, um, just if I just feel like it. Uh, my wife has a lot of materials, and then, because she's an actual artist, and then, um... Whoa. I have, like, a wood burner I really like <laughs> that, like... I've maybe made a few too many Christmas gifts with, so I've kind of retired it at this point. I probably won't make anything else with it. Um, but I love doing the wood burning. It's it's actually very difficult, but it's um, I like the the feel and and, uh, and style of it. I'm trying 
trying to think what else. There was a while I was like kind of painting more signs, like designs, than not like in this graffiti style, but more of like typography sort of. Uh, mostly for my wife, just whenever I felt like it. How the hell do you do this? Um, I don't understand what you do there. Custom Woodburn NES covers for the shop. Yeah, that sounds pretty intense. Um, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, guys. I'm guessing if I do that perfectly, I can get over it. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah, that's pretty lame. It's like you want to just fall straight down, but you always end up getting stuck to a wall. Someone talking about the gaming historian? Yeah, I haven't seen anything from that guy in a while. I really respected that... Wow. That he was able to kind of take... Something like video games and... And turn it into... More of a documentary style. And there's been a lot of people since who've tried to do that and... You know... Do so much less research and have such shittier production values. Uh, specifically I'm thinking of, I'm just gonna totally rat on this person, uh, Lady Decade, who's, like, doing, like, these very, did you know, kind of videos where it's, like, um, it's, like, a documentary, but it's super lazy, it's, like, you don't have any, any visuals other than what you're, like, just steal, oh, now I can jump over it, other than what you're, like, stealing from other people's YouTube videos, so, it like, just feels very, um, cheap, in my opinion. Okay. This whole time I could jump over that? What the fuck? Looks like you can clip through the middle barrier. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that's all my, my hating for today. I don't usually like to... I don't never specifically talk about anyone's channel that I don't like. Um, that's probably one of the only channels that I straight up do not like. That I was kind of hyped on at first. Like a, a woman of color who's like in the games. Uh, I thought it was really like... I was happy to have a fresh perspective and then it turned out that it was just like the same old recycled bullshit like as as low effort as it gets and be like look I made a video nah I told YouTube don't recommend it to yeah again I, I don't really I don't dislike anyone enough to really talk shit about them like that but um, yeah Yeah. There are way crappier channels that I enjoy. Far more than something like that. Alright. Now we're moving. Workshop. Okay. At least we're out of the ice. on the other side? Okay. Okay. 
You know, these are my top hated trends of YouTube. One is... One is constantly editing way too much shit in there to try and make it funnier. And, like, the, specifically the person I've been watching a lot who does, like, these kind of Dragon Ball Z recaps and has, like, 500,000 subscribers or something. Um, like, it's already kind of funny on their own. So I'm, like, disappointed that they result to this, like, constant GIF referencing because I don't feel like it adds anything at all. So, yeah, I don't like that format. The other one is, like, the um, puts himself in the thumbnail, like, reacting to whatever it is they're going to be talking about. Like, I, I, I'm sure there was, like, an article somewhere that told you that was what you're supposed to do. But, like, if I click on your video and you have zero personality, <laughs> or you talk in a really funny way that, like, is not meant for narration, then, um, yeah, I'm going to be very disappointed that you made the video about you, that you the thumbnail was specifically about you because you created yourself as a personality at that point. You have to back it up. And if you can't, then it's just like this is obviously just an attempt to get people to watch. This is what you think the YouTube algorithm wants is you going Oh! Did you know the NES could do this? Oh! No. Sorry. Yeah. And as time goes on, I put myself in the videos more. You know, like, I, I did, at the first, like, year, I don't think it, I showed my face, really. Because that wasn't the point. But, you know, now I do it more because there's, like, things I want to talk about that I can't really figure out what I would put footage over. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. I can blow this guy up. Hold on. I finally have an excuse. Yes! I finally got to use that item. <laughs> Who's this DBZ guy? Can we get in the chat so James doesn't have to say it? I can't remember his name. I actually, like, I've watched, like, a bunch of his because I, I love Dragon Ball Z. So it was, like, fun to watch him recap it. And, like, some I really think this kid has potential. Uh, I just hate the way he edits the videos. And he uses the same gifts in every single video. It's fucking annoying as shit. You really enjoyed that make this your new format what me playing <laughs> this for me making fun of other videos yeah I'm not so much of a hater I don't know why right at this specific moment I'm getting my hate on but his boss is way too easy Carlos Jacobo, you missed it because you were high. Look at OJ memes. That's a valid reason. You chewed out just be for call for calling um, Lady Decade a fake gamer. Yeah, I've noticed that anytime a woman is referenced, or even bringing up my own sister, or having um, my friend Jennifer on here to stream, or um, talking about Hungry Garaya that yeah it's very I, I i notice who who says things like gamer girl or any of that um sexist incel kind of bullshit like the fuck out of here with that stuff like no one cares <laughs> I, I don't know why people want to gatekeep things specific to gender who gives a fuck I, mean, I do i've never thought for a second about who plays these games not for one second never cared it does not matter and if you think somehow that detracts from your enjoyment from the games you should really think about why you play games or are in this hobby at all because like you know their involvement with it does not affect you whatsoever boo <laughs> did it did i get mad at you for sexualizing no of course not you can sexualize me all you want. That's fine. Just don't sexualize my wife, my sister, my brother, you know, like my family or something. Like, yeah, then we're going to have a problem. I will find you. Me, I don't give a shit. I'm the one who's doing the channel. They're not. My daughters, I will fucking murder you. I am not kidding. I will figure out who you are. 
Wee! This Deadpool's got your boy angry. Yeah, beefs to settle for no reason. <laughs> so you're not gonna sexualize your wonky microphone? Is it? I mean, it is wonky. I sometimes debate about the sound quality because I've always thought it was pretty decent, but then it's really hard to tell. I, I like it not at this moment, but even in the videos themselves, where I'm, you know, I'm editing the audio, so. I just can't tell. I, like, it might be time to get a better microphone set up. I just, I, I can't tell if it's adequate or not. I think I, I've, I, I don't think I'm object, objective enough anymore to, to make that call. But if there's anything I would spend the money on, it, it would be a new microphone. That's absolutely the most important thing about my channel. And I do hate that, especially when I'm streaming, that sometimes the mic stops working because I bang the cord or something. It, it, that does bother, bother me a lot. So I would love to not have that as an issue. Thought about wearing green undies and broadcasting the NES games on your butt. Would you be able to tell it's my butt? I, I, I know what you're referencing, but like... If I was green screening on my butt, would you be able to tell it was my butt? Like, how is there any definition if it's on a green screen? I guess you'd be able to see my stomach or something. Is that how you would know that my green that my butt was even there? I think you'd just see like a green mass on the screen and not really know what it was. What the hell? Not sure why that guy exploded. What's happening? <laughs> Something strange is happening here. I just noticed um, that there's a reflection of Deadpool. That's pretty impressive. In the floor right now. Look at that, that's pretty impressive. Wee! Oh, let's use this bomb. I never use these bombs. Hell yeah. It even changed the music. Cool. A little confused on the theme of this level. It says Haven? Is it like a... It's like kind of demonic, and then there's like alien eggs from the movie Alien. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm very confused on the theme. Jesus. Jesus. Holy shit. I can't even tell which one I am. <laughs> there's so much on the screen there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, that's. I can't blame the game for how I'm bouncing around. That's Ninja, Ninja Gaiden to a T. Those are Deadpool eggs, yeah. I said it before, I like the uh, regeneration thing. Like, I could have just sat there and let it let my life fill back up. Uh, you know, I am a big comic book fan. I've never... I think I missed the time when Deadpool became more... Like, I remember Deadpool from the 90s when I was, like, really into that era of, like, X-Men, basically. And I don't remember him being, like, the kind of fourth wall breaking thing that's become sort of his personality. But, um, yeah, never really got into the character or anything like that. Um, and I think the movies are... they're fine. Ryan Reynolds is, he's fine. I find him like equally obnoxious and appealing. He's a strange one. Like I really don't want to like him, but um, 
I mean, I, I can't help but like him at certain points, and then also think he's like kind of a douchebag. Not a douchebag, just kind of a. I don't know. I don't know. I have been watching Welcome to Wrexham, which is maybe not the most interesting documentary TV show, but I, I love the idea of what they're doing. Um, as a big fan of, of that sport, I love the idea of, of taking a a lower league team and, and being able to bring them all the way back up. Like, that's incredible. Super hard to do. Even when you're being bankrolled by millionaires, or in Ryan Reynolds' case, he might be even richer than that because... He has like the, I mean, he owns Cricket Wireless, or at least he did. Oh, you can't kill that thing. That's why it's so hard. I was wondering why that was such a difficult enemy. See, it was like, <clears throat> again, just slightly bad design, which is that <clears throat> the like female Deadpool character there was red and the enemies you can't kill are blinking red. So I couldn't tell that she was invulnerable until I watched her bounce around 30 times. Did I say cricket? Yeah, it's mint. You're correct. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> having waited tables <clears throat> that a lot of people really liked the movie waiting and we're like talking it up and uh, I didn't see it till years later and I probably maybe I would have liked it more when I was like 18 and waiting tables and have related to it more but watching it when I was like 38 and waiting tables I was like this is awful <laughs> this is awful This is, uh, this is such a random thought, but uh, a clip of Mallrats came up as, in my suggested um, feed on YouTube. And <clears throat> I was like, I don't know why, but I'm going to watch it. And it was like straight up six minutes of of Mallrats from when they enter the mall and they run into Ben Affleck's character. And they talk with the guy looking for the sailboat and the magic eye picture. And then they find Jay and Bo Silent Bob and talk to them for a minute. It's like six minutes of, of the movie. Your boy hasn't seen that movie in like probably 15 years at least, maybe longer. And I remembered every single word of dialogue, every single word. Uh, I've seen it that many times. It was like something as a youth I watched a million times. And then in college, like one of my best friends was also way into it. We, we talked about it all the time. So then we would still watch it all the time. That's right. Dane Cook is in waiting and Anna Ferris and some other people, I don't know. Like, it, it kind of, it understands the spirit of it, of, of waiting tables, and a lot of the stuff that happens is, like, it is for sure stuff that happens. It's it's more just, like, the, the style of the humor I wasn't as into. Jesus. Is it a horror film? No. It's a comedy about waiting tables. Jesus. Is it just me or are enemies appearing out of nowhere? They really are. Ugh, come on. Yeah, I don't understand this. Like, look, nothing's on the screen, right? I'm gonna jump, jump back. There's an enemy. Alright, nothing's on the screen. Oh, okay. Nothing. There's a guy. There's a guy. Where the hell did that come from? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there's a guy. Has this been happening the entire game and I just didn't realize it? Or is it just this stage? Where enemies appear out of nowhere. Because that's super not fair. That's super not fair. There's three enemies there I couldn't see. I feel like this is, that's only this level. Yeah, 
The only one I'm gonna switch to is this. That'll make things a little easier. Maybe not. There we go. Hello, Red Hulk. Whoa. Damn. Oh, maybe I don't have to fight him. I don't have to fight him. Okay. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> yes. One, thank you, Matt. Uh, if I haven't said enough, Matt is the reason I'm playing this game. He sent me this along with uh, several other things in a care package. I, I could only post five pictures on um, YouTube, but there's actually other stuff that he sent me, including a t-shirt, um, some Sesame Street figures, and, um, and a coloring book. My oldest daughter is already playing with the Sesame Street figures. She's way into them, so thank you for that, Matt. Um, this game, there's an Atari game, there's the coasters, a bunch of stuff, man. Uh, so thank you. Um, Matt just recently got married, so congratulations again to him. And um, I can't remember what else you were saying. Something about being spicy. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking so much shit tonight. That's not me at all. I mean, it is, but... That's not me in a public persona. I don't want to be talking shit and, you know, find out that so-and-so watches my, my videos and really likes me, and now they're mad that I've been talking shit about them. <laughs> not my intention. But, um, yeah, thank you, dude. Thank you for this. I would say this game is um, interesting. It's It's got its flaws. It's got its positives. Um, I mostly love the packaging is really dope like I think if I just played this as a ROM hack I would think it was Jesus Christ I would think it was okay but having the whole package I, I think it's pretty cool because it's clear that someone spent a lot of time on this both creating it and then packaging it and Matt maybe you can explain I know you told me in the email that the person who had made this, like someone stole the ROM or something like that, and so that's why they called this the Fuck You Edition. It was like uh, to get back at them or something. I, I didn't really. I can't remember exactly. What? I fucking hit him that time. Fuck this game. <laughs> We're gonna fall in this pit. Just start over. Yeah, hyped on the... Hyped on the Deadpool. That's why I'm talking shit. Jeez. 
Jesus, those goat men. I mean, I like I like the design of it where they knock you back. It's actually challenging, but um, boy, they are tough enemies. Oof, there we go. Bye. If anyone ever wants to be as amazing as Matt Sweeney, I have a P.O. box. If you ever want to send me something. I love using it. I don't really have much reason for it. Like, if I order stuff now, I'll, I'll often have it delivered there just so I can make sure it gets delivered. But otherwise, it's, it's just for this channel. Uh, for the occasional times where people send me stuff, um, then I know it's like uh, going to a secure place. It's pretty fun. I need to, like, get a magazine subscription or something, so then I have a reason to go when games aren't being sent to me. But, uh, it's pretty fun just to pop into the post office and, you know, chat with the postal worker and, you know, get my mail. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I have mail that gets sent to my house, too, so it's not like I, I need it, per se, but it's pretty fun. Oh shit. Wait, what happened? I had life left. Why did I die? Okay. Whatever. If I weren't streaming, I would definitely be going a little slower. Because, uh... There's really no advantage to going f quick. Like, in fact, if you take your time, you get more life that way. Um, huh. How the hell do I get up there? I don't know. You definitely can't make that jump. I guess I have to go this way. Huh! That's pretty annoying. Seriously, there's got to be a better way to do this. Is it less janky? You can send me some hip hop albums. Um, okay, that I will always take. I do have a turntable. I've got a, a techniques, but um, I mostly listen to just straight up Spotify these days. But I do listen to a lot of rap. Okay, now I'm even more confused. Okay. Did anyone do a reprint reproduction into the power subscription? Yeah, that would be cool. I have maybe like six or seven issues. And I do occasionally think about... Um, I do occasionally think about getting more of them but yeah it's become kind of hard to acquire them unfortunately at least like in order <laughs> without them being pretty expensive so yeah that'd be cool if there were some reproductions of it it'd probably be pretty expensive to re reproduce that there are there's one magazine called retro it's like something like retro gaming or retro games magazine and it's um but it's out of the uk so I wanted to get a subscription to it, but it was like an absurd amount of money. It was like 60 or 80 euros or something. It might have even been pounds to get it delivered here. It's like, no, nah, it's not worth it. Sorry. Uh, two turntables and a wonky microphone. You got me.
Is that your wife singing at the beginning of the video, <laughs> Dale? Uh, that would be pretty funny. I'll tell you you said that. Whoa, shit. Is this death? Am I fighting death? Okay, that doesn't appear to hurt her. Okay. What the hell am I doing here? Like, I assume I have to destroy those things to be able to hurt her? Cause you can't, you can't hurt her otherwise. Right? <sighs> what the fuck are you supposed to be doing here? I don't understand this at all. Hit the thing in the middle. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, does that actually hurt it? Kind of does. Yeah, it does. You're right. I think I was thinking you had to... Oh, I don't have any weapons. That is so hard, though. <laughs> Jesus. That is so difficult. <sighs> Come on. Jesus. This is so irritating. Like, if you're supposed to hit that, that's... It's so difficult to do that. Maybe that's all I gotta do. Let's get some life back. Oh, boy. Okay. Fuck me indeed. Please don't make me start the. Oh my god, I gotta do that whole level again? I would have been more cautious. So play Where's Waldo next week? I'm on it. I've got a couple of things. Um, I've been meaning to have my buddy James Halcrow come over for a while. I've just been sick and he was out of town one week and then there were just other games I wanted to play that weren't really two-player helpful. I'm gonna unalive myself for a second here. She regenerates all the health when she touches you. Interesting. Okay. That's helpful. <sighs> oh, 
Fucking A. Oh my god. It's starting to get very frustrating. What's this base of the heck? Hey, uh, Rare is. What's going on? See, there's a channel I actually watch. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. No bullshit this time. Fuck you. I'm trying to get... Maybe I'm being overly cautious here, but I'm trying to make it at least past this first stage without fucking dying once. Now if I die, it's okay. Uh, I like the Gaming Historian. I think he makes great videos. I was talking about it earlier. Um, he does remind me of... There's like a, a sketch on Mr. Show, um, where it's, God damn it, we're talking about this fad of, uh, of making streaker movies in the seventies. And there's like a, I think that's where this is. And it's told by David Cross as like a, um, doing like a historian documentary introduction, like, uh at the beginning and the way that he does it is like kind of as this cr god fuck off i can't fucking move uh the way he does it is kind of in this really creepy way the way he talks and it oddly enough reminds me of the way the gaming historian talks unironically um just the way he kind of stares at you i'll see if i can find a clip and i'll post it on the discord or something i don't know this game is gonna drive me fucking crazy yeah, this really was not very difficult until this stage, and now it's it's got plenty of, of bullshit happening. None of it's really... It's not like it's any harder than Ninja Gaiden or something, so I can't really be mad at it for that, but it is pretty frustrating. Yeah, maybe this is a better strategy. No, it's not a better strategy. I hate this game. Hate it. Hate it. I'm gonna beat it. I don't care. I can feel myself entering that that part of playing a game where you're just like you're just getting worse because you're getting angrier it doesn't matter what's really happening on screen and even though I've played this section for instance a million times I'm like just playing it so poorly 
because I'm just I just don't care. And that's yeah, not what I really should be doing. Don't jump. God fuck damn it. I hate this game. Fucking hate this game. Okay, just press the little button, defeat all the enemies, beat all the bosses, win the game. That's all there is to it. That's uh <laughs> the NES version of coach speak. You know, we tried our best, our guys played their hardest, but in the end the other team score more points. We just gotta get out there and you know, score more points than they do next time and make sure they score less points, and then we can win. The best, and this is like one of my favorite jokes, or like ongoing inside jokes, was when I was playing Mario 2. And someone suggested that I was doing the bonus game wrong because I wasn't getting a cherry in the first slot. It's like, yeah, no shit. You think I'm intentionally trying not to do that? So now that's become an, an ongoing joke. Just stop. Just fucking give me a break for like one second. I'm just trying to get past the very first stage. Say so gameplay wise, you think I'm doing good this week? <laughs> I don't know. I've always I always say with streaming that I'm you know I'm no wizard. I'm okay at. at I'm okay at, at any NES game and good at, at a few. Um, but like if, if I were to play any game just randomly, I'd be fine at it, you know? For my very first time, I'd be fine at it. But uh, I wouldn't be great. This also happens to be, I can't believe I just jumped there. This also happens to be uh, based on a game that I'm awful at that I would probably never stream on this channel which is Ninja Ninja Gaiden I've thought about it but like I'm so bad at it there's no way that I, I'm gonna make it anywhere sorry to keep uh, just killing myself here it really is it's too frustrating to like get to the second stage with second part of the stage with only one life or something like this is not worth it to me that's only gonna make me matter I have to start from the beginning after making it further than I have been. So I apologize to you guys that you're just watching the same. God fucking damn it! That you're watching the same screen over and over and over again because I fucking hate this level. I fucking hate it. Uh, you're saying the gaming historian is a scammer because he only puts out a video every few months but then I presumably makes a bunch off of Patreon or something I mean it just depends on what he provides you with that Patreon um, a lot of patrons don't really give you anything it's just like you like that person so you give them money you want them to you know be able to do that for a living I offer like videos and stuff and you know that I just make for Patreon members. Even if people don't watch them, it's like, you know, I appreciate what you're doing, so I'm gonna make something. But uh, I don't think someone's scamming you because they didn't make a ton of videos. I, I think you're paying for whatever it is they're offering. And if they're not offering it to you, you stop paying them. That's all there is. Just like if all of a sudden my videos became, I don't know, total clickbait, like clickbait bullshit that wasn't anything like my style. All you have to do is stop watching them, you know? It's all, the, the choice is entirely yours. There we go. That's interesting. When the when the timer is going, the enemies can't appear because they spawn randomly out of nowhere. Okay, gonna go slow and steady. Get rid of these bombs. That's okay. 
That sucks donkey balls, but that's okay. We were talking about save states earlier. This level is a save state level. For sure. Can I shoot that somehow? Yeah. Cool. Huh. Huh. I think I need to... Yeah, I need to go up here. I can start streaming Raid Shadow Legends. I have been offered. I talked recently about doing a um, a Monopoly stream. I got an offer from Monopoly um, Go, and I I tried playing it. It was exactly as terrible as I thought it would be. And then um, the they wanted me to just do several things that I I just couldn't quite figure out. They wanted me to have a chat bot that would posts you know that where to download the game they wanted me to connect all these things that um didn't ever seem to be working on their end and then they there was like something else i was supposed to do and i just kept feeling like i was not quite i, I just couldn't get it um i felt very old let me tell you that like i just didn't really understand what they were asking for and it's like entirely by email with someone in germany or something you know it was like so it would take like a day of yeah, I'd try and figure it out, and then I like I'd, I'd wait a day for them to respond, and then I'd try something else. It was just taking forever. So like I, I was initially going to stream it like a month ago, two months ago. It was a while ago, and this whole time I've just been trying to like figure out what it was they really needed from me, and couldn't get it to work. So I just I just gave up, and I'm happy for that because I really didn't want to play it. I, I tried it myself to see if it was worth um, promoting because I like the game Monopoly, but Monopoly Go is not a game. It's there's there's not a, you don't make any choices at all. It's it seems like you're making God, why can't I make that last jump? It seems like you're making choices, but you absolutely are not. You're just pressing a button over and over and over again. Um, and why can't I make that last jump? God, why is it so frustrating? That's so unnecessary. That's the only way you can get across this stupid part. It's like, I can make every jump except for that last one. Fuck me. This is so fucking irritating. I was playing the German version. It's just not a, it's not a game. First and foremost, it's just not a game. And I assume that's what these other things like Rage Shadow Legends are like. Is just like... It's not a game. It's just like... You just press things and things happen and then all of a sudden you get things or you lose things and you're like, what am I doing? Holy shit, dude. I cannot seem to make this jump. I'm going to shut up for a second and see if I can focus here. That last jump, I don't know why. it's the, They're all the same distance, it seems like. I cannot make this last jump.
Oh, God. Uh, you missed 2010 uh, YouTube. Yeah, I think I just I think I just started. I think I just joined YouTube way too late. Like this kind of channel and the things I want to talk about were like way more appropriate for like maybe 2014 or 15, you know. But uh, I just I waited forever. All right. Um, oh. God damn it. Okay, I was just curious. I better have enough resources to... Because this is actually effective. Yay! Yay! I assume there's one more boss. I can't believe they wanted you to do all that for less than a thousand dollars. It was way less than that. It was like a hundred dollars just to stream it. And then there was like all these incentives for if um, if other people paid into it. Not paid into it, if they downloaded the game and they played it a, a certain amount, then you would get more money. And it was more like, um, it wasn't necessarily, I wasn't necessarily doing it for the money. I was doing it to explore the idea. Uh, to see what would happen if I, if I tried it. Like, would it be something I, I felt comfortable with? Is it something I, I felt like I could do again? That kind of thing. It was, it was just going to be an experiment. Because I'm I'm way too... I'm way too self-aware self to, to do stuff like that and feel comfortable. Talking about a game I feel nothing for, you know? I've always had trouble with the idea of advertising and sponsorships and stuff. But, you know, I also would like to do this more than I than I am now and to do that you kind of need to start making certain um, certain compromises It's the first time I feel like I hit him. Sort of. You just do very little damage. This is pretty hard. Kind of wish I had some ammo left. Jesus. This is very hard. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I do not care if I die. <laughs> I'm not playing this again.
How did that even hit me? Man, I actually felt like I was getting the hang of it. I'm going to hate myself for this, but I'm going back. I actually felt like I was getting the hang of it there. I'm probably going to regret this decision. But I don't care. <laughs> God, like, <sighs> why? Just God. Yeah, I, I think I, I was trying too hard to like really get in there. I, I finally felt like I got the the rest of it. Yeah, um, I think if there was an advertiser that really appealed to me. I mean, it probably doesn't exist, you know? I doubt there's some company I really like that wants to advertise with me. And unfortunately, I, I just... Part of it is the channel needs to grow before you're going to get offers from people that aren't Raid Shadow Legends. Because those are the people who are just trying to get everyone to talk about their thing, because otherwise no one would know about it. I don't know what my product would be. Just fucking god damn it. All I want to do is get past this first section. And every single time I die in an entirely new way. Like, just give me a fucking break, dude. I'm sorry, I really gotta read this comment because I have no idea what this has. It says, I have mo I think you say more respect for hobos bumming change for natty daddies than people with giant game collections begging for money for more games. Um, yeah, okay. Natty daddies. Is that like natty lights or something? God fucking damn it! It depends. I mean, I'm someone who has a huge game collection and I am straight up asking for money every week because having a game collection, if I sold it, it's not like that like provides for my family or something, you know? Um, it's really not... It, you may think it has some huge value. It really doesn't. And even if it did, like, that's not the point. The point is, like, um, trying to get some kind of like working wage for the amount of time you put into it and of course you do it for fun and as a hobby but as the opportunity arises where you can start getting paid to do it so that you know then you can focus on it more and more then fuck yeah man I don't think there's anything wrong with that I tried doing t-shirts that's the only like non patreon thing I've done as far as like other income sources but personally, and I talked about it some, I didn't like the t-shirts. Um, I like the design of them, but I, I bought a few myself to like to test out. And they, uh, they, they wore out real quick. The, like, the way that that company printed, I thought... And I tried several companies of like online ones that you could integrate with YouTube. I, I thought they were really shoddy. There's like people in Atlanta that I know could do a way better job, but then I would have to like handle the logistics... And I can't, like, just buy a bunch of t-shirts ahead of time and, and wait for people to buy them. I would have to do them, like, pre-ordered or something. I don't know. So, let me think about it. Oh, I can shoot this. Hold on. Yeah, okay. That makes it a little easier. Okay, that also makes it easier. So far, so good. So, yeah, I would like to do more stuff like that. That's, like, actually something that I'm offering. Because I do feel like the Patreon has something to offer, but um, I'd like to like have products that I feel like have something to offer. Yeah, that's Elusive. That's exactly what I'm saying, and I get it. I, I can see how, especially knowing how much games cost, that like people would see that I have a bunch of NES games and think I'm rich or something. So, but it's like. 
it doesn't matter if I am or not. I am not. But it doesn't matter if I am or not. That's not the point. How much money you have shouldn't... Um, it shouldn't negate whether you get paid for what you do. And um, if you don't know much about the way that this stuff works, it's like not exactly an equitable breakdown for like how much time you put into it until you get to a certain point or you take a certain amount of sponsorships on or whatever. You gotta do all those side hustles to make all this stuff get paid for. Ooh, I did that in one try. Look at me. Uh, let's use that bomb. Yeah. I do wish I had more power-ups, though. Didn't really get a lot of them. Alright. Talk to John Riggs. He's all kinds of products -y. Yeah, I wish I were John Riggs, truthfully. John Riggs gets to sit in front of the camera and talk. And he does some editing, but that's mostly what he's doing. And um, and that's how he gets to make his living. And it's like, he's so good at it, so it's not like I'm just saying he's like... Um, like, lazy or something. Like, he's, he's genuinely one of the few people I've seen who can, like, just sit in front of a camera and talk and make it uh, compelling. Because he has he has that kind of like radio personality, but um, I am not capable of that, unfortunately. I wish I were, because that looks like it is way more fun to do. It takes way less time than uh, than editing videos. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I think he was um, a radio personality. You can just tell by the way he carries himself because I record stuff for Patreon where I'm talking to the camera and then later I go back and edit out all the ums and pauses and stuff. And um, and that guy can talk without doing that. You can tell he really has, he has so much practice and probably really trained at it that he can talk without having these kind of, uh, like that, uh, these pauses like he, he carries the the conversation in a compelling way and he has a nice voice that like keeps it going i'm not saying necessarily that everything he's saying is the most interesting but i do think that he is the best person i've seen just talk and be good at it far far and away than anyone else i've seen in retro gaming at least okay already taking a lot of damage wonder why they made Thanos the last villain. I mean, I know they had the Infinity Gauntlet, but it doesn't seem like a Deadpool villain. Shit. Come on, James, you got this. Come 
Come on, that one didn't even hit me. Shit. Catching my breath. <laughs> That's kind of a a lot of focus there. Come on. Come on. Come on! Fuck off! Jesus Christ. Maybe a little too direct this round. The hit detection's a little wonky with these circle things. It's like, if, if you're... Uh, I can't point to the screen. If you're if it's slightly above you, it will hit you. It's not very precise. So that's that's part of my frustration is I feel like I have enough room to avoid either Thanos or the um or the balls, but it's uh I'm getting clipped when I don't think I will be. Suck my balls! Oh. What? What the fuck? No. Okay. What's happening here? If it thinks I'm gonna fight this again, I'm not. That's a bummer. No. No way. <sighs> yeah. I'm not doing that. 
Oh, it's so frustrating. I want to beat that. Then I have to do all that again. I'm debating. I wasn't expecting there to be another fucking boss. I'll try it one more time. I don't care. If I die right now, like I'm I'm gonna quit. But if I make it through this if I make it through this first level without getting knocked into a pit, then I am going for it. That'll be the true test of my patience. Guess we're going for it. Come on, you fucking dick. They were all off screen when it happened. How convenient. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Go wait here for a second. Actually, I'm going to get something to drink while I power up some life here. good enough I say with confidence don't have as much of these. This is actually going to be really hard. Uh, 
Oh well, here we go. Fuck me. No! What the fuck was that? This is actually very hard without the power-ups. It's like very difficult to get the get a hit in without. I really should have probably been better about getting those. Try and get some life back. It's gonna be a little tedious. No. Fuck! I can't believe I started this over again just to get to this part. And it's actually harder than it was before. Without the power-ups, this part is so fucking difficult. I don't know if I'm just missing something, but this is so frustrating. I, I don't think it's possible to hit that cleanly. All I can do is get hit, and once I have the invincibility for a second, try again. Like that. Um, Mikey A, thank you for the kind words. Jesus. This is... I cannot believe how much harder this is. Even with one, it's so fucking hard to hit that thing. Look at this. Look at this! Your best hope is to get hit, but land on the platform. But, like, to do that is not... is easier said than done. If you get hit and land on the platform, that's perfect. Because then you have invincibility to try it again. I, I hate this game now. Yeah, that's it. I'm not doing this anymore. Can I regen the health? You can, but it's not... It's not... Uh, there's no, like, real safe place to do it. And it's like, yeah, you can do that and try and, like, get rid of the the flying balls first, but it doesn't, it doesn't help. Alright, that's it.
I'm done. I hate this game. <laughs> that really is a shame. That last boss where it's like, okay, I had to start from the beginning. Like, I'll try one more time, but like, that's too frustrating to do it anymore. Um, that's the general gist of it. If you guys want to play it, um, I'm sure you can find it pretty easily online. Maybe go to romhacking.org. Uh, thank you again to Matt Sweeney for sending this to me. It is really awesome. Even if I kind of hate it, it is still really cool to play. So I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it came with this cool clamshell. There's a little manual. It's like a very long manual, actually. And then a little pin. And then the game itself is like this bright ass red, which is really cool. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Makes uh, it makes this a lot more fun when I know people are actually watching this. Um, I'm working on for some reason two videos simultaneously right now. I hope that I finish one and not just have two half finished videos by Tuesday. But hopefully I'll have one of them finished by Tuesday. I just haven't decided which one. Um, and uh, yeah, there's more over at Patreon.com/slash Bigel Words. Hopefully next week I'll have a game. There's a couple games I want to play that are two players. So hopefully I have my friend over to play that. Um, and yeah, look out for that. In the meantime, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.